Hello guys, so in this section, let us understand what the command class is, what is the interrupt method using very simple examples and once we familiarize ourselves with it, let us then go ahead and convert the LinkedIn agent that we built using the right methods, using the interrupt uh, method and the command class. Alright, so first in this section, let us look at what is the command class, what is the utility of it. So what this command class allows us to do is to create edgeless workflows. And this is how it works. Okay, so let's say this is a node. This is a very simple node. So instead of, you know, just updating the state as we've been doing so far, what we can do is we can return this command class and this takes two keyword parameters. So in this go to keyword parameter, we can just specify go to this particular node right after this node is executed. Okay, so you can see that the next node to transition to. That is as simple as that. But what if, you know, a node needs to update the state as well? So, so far every node that we've been writing, it also updates a state, right? So we can also specify the same thing here as well. So right here we have the update keyword parameter. Inside of this, we pass in the same object. This is very, very, this is no different to what we've been doing so far, which is uh, just returning the state object, right? So if we return a response right here, it gets appended to the messages list. Very simple. So I hope that makes sense. So to better understand this, I've prepared an example. So right here you can see that uh, this is the this is a very simple node, uh, graph I mean. So what we normally do is we, we just create these nodes, uh, you know, uh, and then we add these nodes to the graph and then explicitly we will mention add edge, add edge, add edge, right? But this time we are going to do the same thing using the command uh, class without using any of these, you know, explicit add edge methods that we've been using so far. So let me go to VS Code. So here you can see that I've already gone ahead and created a file. So all that I'm doing here is that, you know, we have a node which is just going to print node A. Okay. So we are not going to be, you know, making any complicated LLM calls. We're just trying to understand what the command class does, right? So we have a node A, we are printing node A. And then right after node A, what do we want to do? We want to go to node B, right? So that is exactly what we're doing. We're returning the command class. We're saying go to node B next. At the same time, I'm also, you know, just to better drive the point home, I'm also going to update the state as well, just to show you that that is also possible. So right here in the state uh, schema, you can see that we have something called text right here, right? So I'm just basically just going to take the text and then I'm appending this letter A to it, all right? So right after the node A is going to be executed, we are going to go to node B, node B does the same thing. It's printing it and then it is saying go to node C next. And this time before we go to node C, we are also going to append this letter to the state. Okay, so if the initial value were to be an empty string, so right after this, it's going to be A, and when it comes to B, the state is going to have just A letter alone, and by the time this is done executing, we'll, we will have appended the B letter as well. And the same thing for C as well. And then we're just going to add the node and uh, the set entry point also needs to be done. And that is simply it. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it as an empty string right now. All right, great. So you can see that node A is done executing, node B is done executing, node C is done executing as well. And then the final response has A, B, C. I hope that makes sense. So I hope you understand you know, the utility of the command class and the go-to keyword parameter that it takes in. It, it's Personally, it's a lot more readable for me. Uh, it gives me a lot more flexibility on you know the logic that I put inside of my nodes. So given that this is a very simple graph, this would be a very nice way to learn the interrupt method as well. In the next section, we are going to be adding the interrupt method. We are going to interrupt the graph at a certain point and then using the human review, we are going to direct the graph towards node C or node D. Given that this is a very simple graph, it would be a perfect candidate to learn about the interrupt method as well. So I'll see you in the next section.